extremely rare pregnancy and a possible world record. A 25-year-old woman from Mali has given birth to nine babies. Meet Supermom. She has 16 kids. I always wanted a big family. Yeah. At the age of 57 years old, Barbara Higgins welcomed a healthy baby boy into the world last Saturday. Oldest women in the country to give birth. How wonderful I get to have a baby and I'm 62. Bringing a baby into the world is an enormous task, but what about doing it in your 60s or 70s? From older mothers welcoming twins to unexpected childbirths and grandmother surrogates. She did this for us. Let's delve into the most astonishing tales of surprising deliveries. Nine babies. One newborn is a handful. Having nine at once, well, that must be harrowing. Back in 2022, a Malayan mother made headlines after delivering nine babies in Morocco. Yes, you heard that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Singar Express Halima Ksisa from Timbuktu gave birth to five girls and four boys in Casablanca. She was so famous that the government flew her to a well-equipped clinic in Ain Borgia, ensuring better care for the multiple births in comparison to Mali's limited facilities. Concerns were high during the risk of premature birth, but doctors successfully extended her pregnancy to 30 weeks. Then a team of 10 doctors and 25 paramedics safely delivered the infants via cesarean section. This is the first time we're attending a birth like this. The births of these babies, nine babies, it's very rare. Although born underweight, between 500 grams and one kilogram, the babies needed specialized care in Morocco. This remarkable birth surpassed the verified world record of eight babies born in 2009 to an American woman, Nadia Solman. Kathy's late motherhood miracle. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be 62 and have a baby. I'm thinking, how wonderful I get to have a baby and I'm 62. Kathy Blattner and Dr. John Blattner's love story began in Kathy's 40s in Illinois, filled with a shared dream of parenthood. Met the love of my life and she wants to have children and I want to be supportive. Faced with fertility challenges, they pursued various options to conceive after learning Kathy's remaining eggs couldn't support life. What did they say? A lot of them said no, we won't treat you. Why? because of your age. Heartbroken yet determined, Kathy took counsel from Dr. Anthony Pearlson, leading them toward egg donation and in vitro fertilization. After a year of contemplation, Kathy embraced egg donation, seeking donors within her family for a genetic link. Her niece and later her daughter Sarah contributed eggs. Kathy would get pregnant from eggs donated by her own daughter. Leading to the birth of healthy children, defying societal norms. Despite all the opposition from the medical community due to her age, Kathy, at the age of 62, embraced motherhood after giving birth to baby Irma. Kathy and John ignored all the criticism and focused on inspiring hope during the fertility struggles. Their unique journey, including Sarah's pregnancies and Kathy's youngest daughter, Irma's premature birth, seems like a movie plot. Doljandu Kuar. Deljandra Kurar made headlines in her 70s in India after giving birth to her son Arman. This was her first child with her 79-year-old husband Mohinder Singh Gill after nearly five decades of marriage. She underwent two years of IVF treatment facing two failed attempts earlier. Refusing adoption, Kuar had an unwavering faith in bearing her own child. Armand arrived healthy, yet uncertainty surrounded Kuar's age. She claims to be 70, but is actually documented as 72 by the clinic, sparking debate about her being possibly the world's oldest mother. Concerns arose regarding ethics and health risks for both mother and child in late-age pregnancies. Dr. Ruth Farrell has highlighted health complications linked to maternal age, including high blood pressure and preterm birth risks for the baby. Despite criticism, Kuar's husband remains optimistic, entrusting the child's fate to divine power. Embracing motherhood at 60.
In a story that challenged societal norms, Susan Tossen became a 60-year-old first-time mother, defying expectations as she shared her journey into parenthood. How difficult is it of having a child when you're that age? The truth is that you, you feel tired. She was able to accomplish this with her 11 years younger partner, Nick Meyer. Susan embarked on the path to parenthood through a Russian fertility clinic, welcoming daughter Freya via IVF. However, it wasn't without struggles. In August of 2023, Susan faced a life-threatening ruptured peptic ulcer, a stark reminder of the risks associated with late motherhood. She was rushed to Queen's Hospital in Essex, where she was registered for emergency surgery. Despite facing criticism, Susan steadfastly defended her choice, emphasizing her daughter Freya's abundant love and care. Her journey held surprises, including the revelation of pregnancy at 30 weeks and a complex conception. Susan cherished each moment with Freya, highlighting the importance of health and a robust support system. Despite criticism from friends and family, she firmly believed that motherhood transcended age. Mangami Yaramati. A woman in India, the 73-year-old, gave birth to twins via C-section. In a heartwarming tale from southern India, 73-year-old Mangami Yaramati recently gave birth to healthy twin girls. She described this moment as the happiest phase of her life. Facing societal stigma due to childlessness, Yaramati and her 82-year-old husband, Sitarma Rijaro, had craved for parenthood for years. After several attempts, the old couple were filled with joy and relief when they embraced the newfound happiness that the twins brought. The doctor who delivered the babies highlighted the extreme medical care provided during the pregnancy, monitoring Yaramati's overall health, nutrition, and pregnancy progress. Utilizing IVF, Yaramati successfully conceived using a donor's egg and Rajarno's sperm. Despite societal disapproval, there seemed to be a growing trend of older women seeking IVF due to unfortunate circumstances. After losing their children in accidents, the family remains faithful and trusts the future to the higher power. China's Oldest Mother Back in 2019, a 67-year-old woman from Shandong province achieved the distinction of becoming China's oldest new mother. She gave birth to a beautiful baby girl at Zhaozhang Maternity, and the media extensively covered this event. This was such a big deal because Tian surpassed the previous record held by a 64-year-old woman from Changchun, Jilian province, who gave birth in 2016. Tian's husband, Hong, expressed surprise at the unplanned arrival, describing the child as sent by heaven. The couple named their daughter Taniki, meaning given by God. However, reports suggested disagreement among the couple's elder children after learning of the pregnancy. Everyone in China still lives in fear, despite relaxed government rules post the repeal of the one-child policy in 2016. Staffer Babies Now, let's check out this story at St. Cloud Hospital in Minnesota, where an incredible 31 staff members welcomed 32 babies. The record number of births weren't from patients, but from women who work there. Crazily, nearly one in five of the hospital's employees were pregnant at the same time. Every nurse in this place is pregnant. <laughs> we're like, yeah, don't drink the water. Meet Brioche, the 13th edition, Brecon, the 21st blessing, and Milo, the 31st joyous arrival. These dedicated individuals all work within the hospital's birthing unit. The shared experience was visible, with staff members joyfully comparing their bellies in the hallways. One fortunate even mother was graced with twins. This is Evelyn, she's number nine, and this is Eleanor, and she's number 10. For them, the birthing unit became more than just a workplace. It transformed into a supportive community. A grandmother's love carrying hope. After numerous IVF treatments and miscarriages, one mother is giving her daughter a major gift by volunteering to carry her baby. Giving birth to your own granddaughter isn't a typical scenario in a mother's life. Yet for Julie Loving, a 51-year-old mom from Chicago, it became an exceptional act of love and hope for her daughter. She did this for us. Really the most selfless thing anybody can do. Hailing from Chicago, Julie stepped in as a surrogate for her daughter, Brenna Lockwood who struggled for four years to have a baby. Their joy bloomed with the arrival of Brianna's daughter, Briar Juliet Lockwood. Two, one. Ah! 
the Lockwoods married in 2016, but faced hurdles due to Brianna's grandfather's illness. Wanting him to meet their child, they looked for help when pregnancy didn't happen. They had setbacks, health issues, and financial constraints. Surrogacy cost of nearly $100,000 posed a challenge. However, Brianna remained determined, and that's when Julie, at the age of 51, offered to carry her grandchild. What did you say to her? I said, you know, I would love to help you and be your surrogate. I just laughed. Um, I just kind of brushed it off and was like, Mom, no, you're crazy. Though hesitant at first, Brianna accepted her mother's selfless offer and together gave birth to a beautiful baby. Elizabeth Adenay. 66-year-old woman set to give birth next month, setting off a firestorm again of medical and ethical issues. Elizabeth, a successful British businesswoman, was set to become Britain's oldest new mother. Despite her age and societal expectations, she craved motherhood. In Britain, doctors usually deny IVF for women over 50, pushing Elizabeth to seek help in Ukraine. At 66, she surprised everyone by becoming pregnant after IVF treatment abroad. Her determination and good health amazed her friends. Elizabeth, still working five days a week, adjusted her routine slightly. She didn't want her extraordinary journey to be a big public story. It was her own special journey, something she preferred to keep private, like a personal treasure. Mrs. Adney has defended her decision to have IVF, saying, it's not physical age that is important, it's how I feel inside. Some days I feel 39, others I feel 56. Elizabeth Adenay claims that for motherhood it only matters how old you feel. She says she's fit and healthy, and on the inside, feels like a 39-year-old. Dev Kuar Surti Kya baadak na nani ki dadi hashe? Karan kya mahila khud a baadak ni mata hashe? Dev Kuar Surti had stayed 37 year in hopelessness in her desire for motherhood. However, things took a remarkable turn thanks to the dedication of doctors at the 21st Century Hospital and Test Tube Baby Center. Despite years of childlessness, 61 year old Surti welcomed a healthy 2.2 kilogram baby girl. Devon Kuar described this moment as beyond miraculous, having lost all hope of ever becoming a mother. Doctors have noted that most women after menopause abandon the idea of conceiving. 62 ni age ma bhi ek badhu pota nu kaam kari sakta tha na ekdam active hata. But Devon Kuar was firm in her belief of achieving motherhood through in vitro fertilization. Despite initial failures in three attempts, the doctors persisted. Finally in January 2009, Devon Kuar's determination bore fruit. Her husband Ambu Borar Surti expressed his joy stating after 37 long years, I finally have an heir. Africa's oldest mother. 70-year-old woman gave birth to twins on Thursday following IVF treatment and became Africa's oldest mother. Safina Namakuea was 70 years old when she became Africa's oldest mother. Not only that, she ended up giving birth to twins. In her remarkable journey, she delivered a boy and girl through a cesarean procedure in a hospital in Uganda. Beyond medical marvels, Namu Kua's story shows the unwavering human spirit. This isn't Namu Kua's first venture into motherhood. She welcomed a daughter back in 2020 as well. Despite all the media attention, she encountered hardships during her recent pregnancy including being deserted by her partner due to his reluctance about fathering twins. However, this wasn't something Namu Kua had encountered before. She has gone through a lot in life, having lost her first husband in 1992, a miscarriage, and even abandonment from family members. What a strong mother she is! Surprise, baby! 47-year-old woman and her husband got a big surprise when she went to the hospital for severe abdominal pain. Well, it's good news. You don't have any blockages or anything. You're pregnant. It's not every day you go to the hospital for a regular checkup and end up delivering a baby. But that's what happened to a woman in Boston. Judy Brown, a 47-year-old mother, had no idea she was pregnant. Well, it's good news. You don't have any blockages or anything. Her husband Jason noticed a weird hardness when touching Judy's stomach. 
but they thought it was normal weight gain, assuming it was related to menopause. However, after some discomfort, Judy was rushed to Beverly Hospital near Boston. What the doctors told the couple was staggering. Judy was not only pregnant, but ready to deliver. You're pregnant. Uh, okay, and you're going to have her now. Dr. Kirsten Maus explained that the baby was imminent and within an hour. The baby was right there, so it was imminent, so she went upstairs to labor and delivery. Carolyn Rose made her surprise entrance weighing eight pounds. This unexpected turn of events left the couple astonished. After 22 years of marriage, Carolyn was their first child. The odds of a 47-year-old woman not knowing she was pregnant completing the entire pregnancy unaware and then walking into a hospital to welcome a baby are incredibly rare. But hey, stranger things have happened. Grandmotherly love. A 54-year-old woman who gave birth to her granddaughter, acting as a surrogate for her daughter. In another extraordinary turn of events, Tracy, a 53-year-old woman, delivered her own granddaughter after generously stepping in as a surrogate for her daughter and her husband. This opportunity came up. It was something that God presented to us, and we took it. The daughter, Kelly McKissick, had faced a challenging three-year battle with infertility and had gone through multiple unsuccessful fertility treatments and three heartbreaking miscarriages. With Tracy being seven years past menopause, she underwent a series of specialized medical treatments to prepare her body for the pregnancy. Against all odds, January of 2016 marked the arrival of a healthy 6-pound, 11-ounce baby girl named Kelsey. If you are wondering, the name is an amalgamation of both Tracy and Kelly's names. Success stories like these show selfless and generous mothers can be. Miracle Twins A 68-year-old Nigerian woman has gave birth to twins. Meet Margaret and Noah, a couple whose journey to parenthood was nothing short of miraculous. After 46 years of marriage, this resilient couple faced heartache, undergoing three unsuccessful attempts at IVF. Yet they refused to give up on their dream. I never lose hope any day anyway. Against the odds, Margaret defied conventions and carried her own twins at 68 years old. Their journey was anything but easy. Margaret's pregnancy was challenging, requiring constant monitoring in the final months. Throughout it all, societal pressures and naysayers loomed large. But Margaret and Noah remained steadfast in their pursuit of parenthood. Now they look forward to providing a loving home for their newborn twins cherishing the miracle they've longed for. Margaret and Noah's story reminds us that dreams do come true, with faith and belief in the power of a hope. Werewolf Syndrome Legacy A baby girl was born into a family with an unusual condition, the werewolf syndrome. In an interview, Monisha recalled her own upbringing with the affliction alongside her sisters. <laughs> Covered in thick black hair, they led secluded lives to save themselves from ridicule. But it wouldn't stop there. When Anita became pregnant and later gave birth, her mother confirmed, she's like you. That's when Onisha's heart sank. The baby's entire body, much like her mother and aunts, was covered in the same dark, velvety hair. Memories flooded Manisha of the societal rejection and isolation they faced. And now she was afraid her daughter would go through the same thing. Despite her fears, Manisha resolved to provide her daughter with love and support, hoping for her acceptance in the community, something she never received. Claudette Cooks Claudette Cook's heartfelt desire for children, particularly trans children, has been a long-standing wish. For nine years, Claudette and her husband tried for kids, trusting in divine timing. You have to wait on God, she would say, highlighting their patience despite anything impactful. The thing of it is you have to wait on God. Their journey started in church a decade ago, leading to marriage. In 2018, they agreed to expand their family. Seeking guidance from an IVF specialist in February, their dream gradually took shape. Claudette's doctor confirmed the arrival of the first baby in February of that year, followed by another soon after. You know, Isaac came out first and Isaiah came out second. It was an unreal and overwhelming experience for them both. 
The ultrasound images made it all seem so real, with Claudette's husband happily capturing each precious moment. Claudette and her husband find peace in divine planning. This journey like this can reaffirm anyone's faith in God's mysterious but perfect design. Monica's Mysterious Motherhood In a narrative rarely heard, Monica Thompson at 46 encountered an astonishing turn of events. Initially mistaking stomach cramps for flu symptoms at work, she was astounded when a doctor suggested pregnancy, a notion she dismissed due to her age and assumed menopausal changes. You might be pregnant, and I'm, I thought, yeah, right, no, there's no way. However, a pregnancy test at urgent care revealed she was seven and a half months pregnant. Imagine the shock for Monica and her fiance, Jason. Okay, is this a joke? Are you kidding with me? What's going on? Despite her fitness journey and a 20 pound weight loss, there were no visible signs of pregnancy. An emergency C-section followed bringing baby Jaden into the world. Experts like neoanthologist Dr. Francis Panthro acknowledge such rare occurrences, calling it an extraordinary event. And for Monica, unexpectedly embracing motherhood at her age was an answer to a very heartfelt prayer. Susie Traxler A Greensboro woman became a first-time mom at 50 years old. At 50, Susie Traxler from Greensboro became a first-time mother after a challenging journey. Married in 2008, she and her husband Tony hoped for a child but faced fertility obstacles due to fibroids and age-related concerns. When it got to be like 10, 9 years, 10 years, 11 years, then we're like, okay, something is up here. We're not sure what it is. It's a boatload of fibroids, <laughs> uterine fibroids. Susie's desire for motherhood was considered rare at her age. Through Carolina's Fertility Institute, they underwent extensive procedures and IVF, culminating in a final successful embryo transfer. And after years of struggle, their daughter Lily Antonia arrived healthy at 5 pounds 12 ounces. She's the miracle. She really, really is a miracle baby. <laughs> According to the doctors, it was a true miracle for the couple. I think a pregnancy at this late age is for everyone. Adjusting to parenthood, they express overwhelming love for their baby girl. I love her so much. Every time I look at her, sometimes I find myself just staring at her. Embracing the challenges and sleepless nights with gratitude. Sleep deprived, I told them sleep deprived, but totally beyond worth it. The Traxlers cherish this miracle, aware of the low odds for a woman over 50 to carry a healthy baby to full term. Tubes Tied Barbara was content with two children and opted for sterilization to prevent future pregnancies. However, at 46, she encountered something only one in 300 women experience, conception post-tubial ligation. She was pregnant. Her unsuspected pregnancy came to light through a sudden agonizing abdominal pain while at work. At 11.45, I was checking out a customer. All of a sudden, this pain hit. She was rushed to the hospital by her partner, Art, where she faced a bewildering turn of events. Barbara found herself in labor, completely unaware of her pregnancy. The unexpected arrival of her son, Hunter, left her so astounded she couldn't believe it for days. Her concerns for his health, having had no prenatal care, turned into immense relief when doctors affirmed his well-being. The nurses came in and told me that he was absolutely healthy. Despite the unforeseen circumstances, Barbara and Art embraced their unexpected joy. I fell in love the minute I seen him. Naming their son Hunter for the surprise he brought into their lives. Lawsuit after unintended birth. A Colorado woman who gave birth in a Denver jail cell without any medical help. Diana Sanchez, a Colorado woman, filed a lawsuit after an alarming incident in a Denver jail cell where she delivered a baby without any medical aid. Yes, you heard that right. Despite her cries for help, deputies and nurses failed to respond as she endured labor pains. The pain was just un un it's indescribable. And what hurts me more, though, is the fact that nobody cared. Sanchez notified deputies of her condition at 5 a.m. Diana Sanchez says she told Denver Sheriff's deputies at 5 a.m. she was in labor. And even after her water broke by 9.43 a.m., no assistance was provided. Nearly six hours later, she gave birth unattended. Shockingly, a male nurse who had been observing from outside the jail cell arrived only after the birth. A male 
nurse finally walks in who has been watching from outside the jail cell. The incident captured in a blurred video sparked outrage, prompting calls for immediate medical intervention and proper care for expectant mothers in such situations. Barbara Higgins welcoming motherhood at 57. At the age of 57 years old, Barbara Higgins welcomed a healthy baby boy into the world last Saturday. Our next heroine, Barbara Higgins, defied norms by embracing motherhood at 57. Her heartwarming journey began after a heartbreaking loss, the passing of her 13-year-old daughter in 2006. She was fueled by persistent dreams of having another child. So she looked for specialized treatment for women in their 50s. After a lengthy process and many failed attempts, Barbara and her 65-year-old husband welcomed baby Jack, making her a mother once again. Nursing Jack with ease, Barbara sees this experience as a beacon of hope. I'm nursing Jack and I'm doing just fine. I'm having no trouble at all. Showing that age is no barrier to motherhood. Through Jack's arrival, Barbara radiates joy, nurturing hope for those aspiring to embrace parenthood at any age. Unforeseen arrival. A Henry County woman goes to the emergency room thinking she has kidney stones. Turns out she was 38 weeks pregnant and she didn't even know it. Stephanie Jagger is a Henry County resident who faced an unexpected surprise. She thought the pain in her stomach was due to kidney stones. However, it turned out to be a 38 week pregnancy scare. Despite being a mother of three, she displayed no typical pregnancy symptoms and mistook the discomfort for kidney stone related pain. Stephanie was rushed to the ER, where an ultrasound revealed the crazy truth. She was about to give birth. And just like that, Sean Jagger made a sudden appearance after a few hours, leaving everyone surprised. Previously diagnosed with early menopause, Stephanie views Sean's unexpected arrival as a blessed addition to her family. Thank you very much for watching the video. What do you think about this video? Share in the comments, and do like the video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.